Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and what we have this time is the Makoto Rise uh, Guto 240 millimeter knife. So this line of knives has a three layer construction. Uh, the harder center core cutting steel is Awagami or Blue Paper Super Reactive High Carbon Steel. Heat treats around 62 plus Rockwell on that core steel. Construction is a soft stainless uh, non-reactive cladding on either side of that harder core steel. And uh, you can see the core steel peeking out from the edge. So the cladding does come over the top of the spine as well, which is nicely polished. You can see that right there. The uh, weight and dimensions can vary a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 174 grams or 6.1 ounces. The edge length is 238 millimeters or about 9.4 inches. And the overall length is about 396 or 15 point six inches. The spine thickness is about 2.1 millimeters generally just across the board on these so uh, about 2.1 ish all the way down until you hit the grind. And the grind's pretty tall on these so that it thins out real nicely at the tip and the tip is very very good on this. I played with this one on a few different products and the performance is excellent uh, both at the back and at the front here. So uh, blade height is pretty generous at 15.51 millimeters basically so plenty of clearance for the board the handle is octagonal uh, it is maple with a black or excuse me so used to saying black pack of wood with a red pack of wood ferrule so it's a nice uh, interesting mix there of woods warm maple and then the red pack of wood uh, nice tight install on the handle uh, fit and finish is good the handles fairly light so that's going to bring the balance point forward a fair amount so there's the balance point, which is definitely in front of a pinch grip by quite a bit for me. So um, that you know makes it feel a little bit more uh, weight forward, a little bit more of a chopping power on the board. The uh, fit and finish is very, very good as is kind of standard for Makoto's knives. He puts a lot of work, you can tell, into the finished components. That you've got a highly polished rounded spine and then a polished rounded choil. Real nice polish on that as well. Super comfortable out of the box. Put a nice out of the box edge on these, you know, I'll say six, maybe seven out of 10 on my scale for out of the box edges. Really good grinds, thin at the edge, thin at the tip. Clean grind, straight. We'll get our beauty shot here. So on the blade flats, you've got a hairline or brushed finish going this way with the blade which helps hide scratches when you clean and dry the knife because usually you're wiping it this way. You've got hand chiseled engraved kanji on the left the right side of the blade as you'd be holding it. I have been using this so you can see some patina developing on that uh, core steel, that Algami Super. I'd say you know performance is excellent. Food release is okay. Um, Things can tend to stick, you know, some moisture things can tend to stick riding up the blade because the finish is, you know, fairly flat and it's, it's fairly pretty smooth. Um, but, you know, the performance is really good. The tip is excellent. What else here? I think that's about it. Let's look at the cutting board demo. So, again, this was a very pleasurable knife to use. Here is our edge profile. So you can see it's, you know, got a little bit of a flattish area towards the heel, but it's fairly kind of a continuous curve, a little more belly towards the tip, a gentle belly towards the rear, so it doesn't flow into a stop, it just kind of goes there and keeps going until you finish it off on the back. Front, I can get pretty high on this, they've got a little bit more aggressive belly, so you can see I'm getting a little higher on it. And you can see when you get a really good patina going, that's going to look really cool. It's really going to contrast at that coarse steel from the stainless on the cladding. But there's your edge profile. So just a really excellent performing, nice looking, uh, refined, but with some character to it type of knife. So it's a neat product. This is the Makoto Rusei Guto 240 millimeter knife.